Hello, everyone. This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, obviously, as you guys can see, I will be doing a character review on Gold Mythic Nimrod. And this is actually somewhat of a surprise. Not because I'm doing it. I was planning on doing this uh, this character review anyway. You know, in fact, I was planning on doing character reviews on every one in the New World Order Allegiance. But I'm doing this a little bit earlier than I actually had anticipated. And at the time of this recording, it's late Thursday for me. Not real late, but it's Thursday night, so you guys will either get this real late Thursday or on Friday, and I do apologize in advance if you hear any barking in the background, that would be hardly. I'm sitting here right now actually rubbing her to keep her company while I do this, and before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good and I'm staying safe for the most part. And even though I'm doing this one early, you guys are still going to get two more character reviews on the Traitor and on Titan to finish off this Allegiance. And then after these three are you know character reviews once they're done then I'll be taking a break on character reviews unless I change my mind and maybe go back on doing some on some of the other characters that might have come out a couple of months ago or something but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so I think we should go ahead and go ahead and jump into this character review on Nimrod, shall we? Nimrod, New World Order. His trait is alert. His role is support. And his allegiance is a member of the New World Order. And before we continue... I'm so sorry I'm going to interrupt this just for a second because I think Harley wants outside. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I do apologize for that interruption. Okay. So, trait, alert, roll, support... Okay, Allegiance, member of the New World Order. Alright, hopefully we don't have any more interruptions. Okay, now let's take a look at his stats. His attack stat is 17,700. His HP stat is also 17,700. And his defense is 15,171. Alright, let's take a look at his adrenaline rush. The Conqueror's Army. The recharge rate is 55 AP, so reasonably fast. Deal 450% damage up to 3 enemies. Up to two teammates get elusive and 100% attack for one turn. Okay, I, I like this adrenaline rush. He's doing a decent, a decent amount of damage at 450%. Up to three enemies. That could potentially take out three enemies depending on who that damage goes to. And I like that two teammates are getting elusive and 100% attack. Although the downside to that, it's only for one turn. But I guess it's better than zero turns. So overall, I like the Adrenaline Rush. It's pretty good. Alright, let's take a look at his signature move. Increasing Pursuit. 
the initial cooldown is one turn, number of cooldowns, again, one turn, number of uses, unlimited, make a critical attack against an enemy for 100% damage, and this character gets 20 AP, plus 20 AP. I like the uh, uh, signature move, it's, um, you know, obviously it's not doing as much damage as the Adrenaline Rush, but Signature Moves is a, you know, kind of a sneak peek to what the Adrenaline Rush potentially could do, so it's not a bad Adrenaline, I mean, it's not a bad Signature Move, it's in the middle, I think, I've definitely seen better, I've seen worse Signature Moves for sure, not a bad Signature Move whatsoever. Alright, let's take a look at Nimrod's mythic abilities. Cunning. When attacking or being attacked, 30% less likely to trigger enemy weapon effects and walker effects. Um, again, you know what? I'm sure it works how it's supposed to. I'm actually not sure how it works. You know what? I do have... Uh, Waylon? Yeah, Waylon has it. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you level up Cunning all the way, it'll work how it's supposed to. Because on Waylon, it still works pretty good. So, definitely, I would maybe think about leveling that one up. The Order's Resistance. At the start of each wave, all New World Order Allegiance members get 100% days and confuse resistance for the first two turns of combat. This one's pretty good and it's bad and I'll explain, you know, first why I think it's bad. The only reason that it's bad is that um, only New World Order Tunes can benefit from the days and confuse resistance. I wish it was just any of your teammates and not necessarily, you know, on a certain allegiance. That's the bad part about it. But honestly, that's really the only bad part of it. It's not a bad allegiance. I mean, not a bad, you know, mythic ability there. It's pretty good. Especially, you can stop... People like Sandy, Mirabelle, um, Connor from going off turn one. Um, so that'll be pretty good for those type of tunes. So yeah, the Order's Resistance, I think I would definitely level that up. If you're planning on running a team with all, maybe not all, but mostly New World Order, if you can get a team like that, if you're lucky enough... I would definitely recommend leveling up the Order's Resistance for sure. Wipe them out. At the start of each wave, 100% chance to remove defense down block from up to three enemies. Um, I guess depending on your situation, wipe them out could be a good one. Or it might be one that you might not necessarily have to level up. I don't know, I guess it just depends on your situation, on your roster, your mods, and all of that. So, I guess that is definitely entirely up to you to uh, level up, wipe them out for sure. Quilled Assault. At the start of each turn, 60% chance this character gets Guardian Shield. Okay, um, I think this one is both good and bad. It's only bad because only Nimrod is getting the Guardian Shield. And I wish that, you know, maybe up to two or three teammates would get the Guardian Shield. If, you know, if up to two to three teammates were to be able to get the Guardian Shield, then I would probably recommend it. But I would say I guess it's up to you on that last one. Personally, I don't think I would touch it only because I have a Guardian Shield. You know, I have Mirabelle, so 
at least immediately I wouldn't touch it. I might not touch it at all, but then again, it is up to you. So, you know, the one I would definitely recommend for sure is the Order's Resistance and then maybe Cunning for sure. Those are the two I think I would definitely recommend over the other two. Alright, let's take a look at his specialist skill, Argo. This character gets 30% attack and defense at the beginning of each turn. If it was not directly targeted by a successful attack or ability in the previous turn, bonuses given this way stack with each other and the other bonuses resets on a new wave of combat. Okay. Yeah, uh, Argo, let me think of who has Argo. Definitely Zachary, Gator, um, I'm sure there's another gold mythic that has that, but definitely Zachary and Gator are the only two, and then obviously Nimrod, those are the only ones I can think of other than Nimrod that have this one. Alright, let's take a look at his weapon. Nimrod Savage Pistol. 35% attack, a huge bonus to AP when attacking, improved cleanse, one negative effect from this character at the start of, at the start of every turn, okay, gotcha, um, I don't know, I mean, alright, I like the attack, I don't know if a huge bonus to AP when attacking is a hundred percent necessary I mean you might think so but I would probably maybe change that second slot and then that third one I don't know I don't some people might like it but I'm not a fan of it just because I think there's better like uh, focused stun uh, you could do and then you know obviously for that third stat I would do Focus Stun, and, you know, for a fourth slot, once you five-star the weapon, that fourth slot, Alert Buffs, that would be a pretty good way to go, I think, and, or if you want to make him more, you know, more of a damage dealer, definitely keep that attack on there, um, you know, that second slot, I mean, personally, I would have removed the second slot, but... You know, that third slot, yeah, I would remove maybe Focus Stun. Um, you know, if you want to keep him more alive, I would do the attack for sure. That second slot, I would remove to put Defense or HP. And then for the third slot, Focus Stun and then Alert Buffs. But if you really want him to do damage and hope this works... Definitely keep the attack on there. A huge bonus to AP when attacking. Splash damage. And 15.35. That's, you know, the ways I see of, uh, as far as his weapon, that's what I see working for Nimrod. For sure. And I just gotta say, I, I love the background with Nimrod, and I, I love the owl there, and the snow, I just think it looks pretty cool. And like I said in one of my other videos, I honestly don't think there's a bad character in this allegiance. I think all of them have their uses for sure, and Nimrod is not a bad tune. I mean, is he the best tune ever? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you think so. I, I don't want to say if he's the best tune ever or not. He could be like kind of a middle of the pack kind of character. Not bad, but not like super great. But he's definitely, I think, more so going up towards pretty good. Like I said, you know, there's not really a bad tune in this allegiance. And the next character reviews will definitely be on the Traitor and Titan. The next one will probably be the Traitor. And 
the one after that, I'll leave possibly the best for last, uh, Titan. So, I'll be done with these character reviews either by Saturday or Sunday. And then after I complete the character reviews on this Allegiance, then I'll see where I go from there as far as character reviews go. So, yeah, I don't think I have much else left to say. So, that is going to do it for this one. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about Gold Mythic Nimrod, or just to simply say hi, you may. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like my content, subscribe to see more. It would be much appreciated. And to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome, and I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend ahead. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.